Well, I figure since I have to issue a certificate of destruction for this compressor, it might be a good time to do a bit of compressor carnage. I've isolated the electrics on this one, I've drained all the oil, and I've hooked it up to a bank of run capacitors equivalent to 150 microfarads. I've already tested it and she runs. So, next logical thing is, plug it in and run it. Let's see what that does, and... Well, if it doesn't blow up soon, maybe I'll start introducing things which you shouldn't introduce to a refrigerant compressor. Like, say, a bit of old antifreeze or something. And I'll see what that does. Oh, hello. I think she just threw a rod or seized up in the wall. See if that status starts burning. Ah. Thermal switch just killed it. <laughs> that was a good seizure though. Okay, well I've got her unfrozen again. Poured a lot of antifreeze down the centre of the rotor to cool it off. She was boiling hot, well over 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, I think the main bearing seized up. That's how most of these compressors fail when I try and blow them up. This isn't the first test I've done. So now it's got a bath of antifreeze and it's cooled off and ready to run. Try that again. She's a bit tight. sure how those clicks and devices work. I don't do that. Single phase doesn't have enough torque to really do much damage to this. isolated with no earth. So do not try this at home kids, this is very dangerous. Uh, the whole thing can easily become live once the windings start burning.
Maybe you do wear a bloody mask when you do this. I've got fans throwing the fumes away, but I can still smell it. It's not fun. And that trip 25 amp circuit breaker. I'm going to make sure the bloody panel isn't on fire. Okay, well the panel isn't on fire, but most still is. 